All right, so you're level 38. You're ready to change classes, but you don't know which which one to take. You thought it was easy going down the dark path, but now you got two more choices to choose from. Which one do you go? Well, let's see here. So, this is the dark light path, the necromancer. So, class three, the light version of the dark path. So, let's see what you got. So you got some new, uh, new moves. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Some new moves. One, two, three, and four. All right. One, two, three, four, and boom. That's your, that's your new move there. Uh, you, you'll get another bar. You'll get a uh, third class strike gauge bar, and you'll max out at uh, 300. Um, let's take a look at the passives. So you keep what you got, you just keep building on it. So what do we get here? We get repetition damage increased by 5% when using summoning magic in succession. So. Basically, with the summon spells that we unlock with the Dark Path, you just hang back and you just throw them out. So, uh, 30 divided by 5, that's 6, so 6, and there you go. Uh, let's look at our Class Strike. Uh, yeah. So she gets a third Class Strike, and these will be different depending on which uh, class you take. So, this is a single target one. Um, it's not that good, I suppose. I mean, it's a more powerful version of the uh, Tier 1 class strike. Let's take a look at the uh, skills that she gets. Um, she gets these uh, quick shots. Now, these are the... Uh, the class strike nuke attacks basically get in the battle once your class strike move on because uh, once you you know once they take any damage it's 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 done um, so you always want the two points for the mighty uh, defense you skip it it's not worth the points or the uh, slots that you know it takes to equip these abilities here um, <clears throat> luck same thing I mean you could use them if you want, but you have to invest, and uh, they're, you're not going to have 315 points. Yeah. So, you want to keep building off of spirit. And what we get here is a multi target Twinkle Ring, uh, and we get two more summons. And you get Dark Curse. Now, what Dark Curse is, it's a it's a non-damaging uh, debuff. It debuffs all the stats. Attack, defense, magic attack, magic defense. Um, it's a hard debuff, which means it puts an icon on the, the enemy. And other hard debuffs will not stack. And lastly, you get Dark Saber. Uh, Sabers really aren't good unless you're specifically building towards them and for them. Um, and really only on a couple characters. <clears throat> Excuse me, namely Duran and Charlotte. So it's it's really not that big of a you know it's not like you would go after this class for for Dark Saber. So it's just all this no all right so let's go down intelligence now so let's see what we got keep the summon and now we get these two so these are debuffs on power attacks chance is small chart is good um, Kevin on his dark path actually gets um, a damage uh, <clears throat> A damage uh, buff if the enemy is debuffed with a uh, with an ability, and so this would be one of the ones 
Um, his is a, I believe it's a 30% silence, and silence doesn't work on bosses and, uh, and other things. And this one's a higher percentage, so it's a chain ability, so you could use it. So it's, it's, it's good for that. Um, these ones, I mean, you could use it if you got the free slots, if she's, if she's out there throwing, uh, throwing power attacks out. So, I mean, I guess it would be a one button mashing machine. But, I mean, I wouldn't, um, spec for it. Alright, so, <clears throat> let's see what she gets here. So, heal line, let's put on, uh, this one and that one. Alright, so let's take another look at these spells real quick. Uh, they increase in power and MP cost, just standard power creep. Uh, MP8, power 176. MP9, 200. Uh, 12, 250. 16, 350. So they do more damage. Um, same deal. They have a slight stun. Let's stun Mega Man here, and then puke on him, there we go, uh, try a new one, look at that, yeah, messed up his day, alright, so let's run, let me equip the OP skill, Cactus Soul, and let's check out this uh, class strike here, single target, not going to be hitting anybody else. See, look at that. They're right there. So a single target, purely. Um, that's about it. Now let's check out the debuffs. So, the debuff damages up. Let's go back here. Let's try it again. No debuff, let's get the damage. Yeah, 114. Let's try it again. And spank him. There we go. So there you go. And single target, no damage. Um, it's nice because you can spam it. I mean, you don't have to do anything. You can face a wall and just mash the button and she'll put it on somebody else. So that's good. If you just want to do a, you know, a StarCraft. Korean APM type thing where you're just like whoosh, whoosh, you know. um, so that's about it for the dark class it's a uh, it's uh, how would I say it? it it has a little bit of melee melee uh, support with quick shot um, it's mainly just the debuff the only thing that it's getting here is the dark curse that's the only thing you need to care about um, these spells, they do more damage, but they're largely, I mean, they're, they're just, they're non-factors. So, you basically take the, um, the light path for the Dark Curse, for a non, uh, a non-damage, uh, debuff all, and... Maybe you could do some of these attacks with a uh, class strike. So that's about it. Um, let's see if there's anything else to mention. There's, there's really not a whole lot. I mean, she's. You have to understand that Charlotte's a healer, and so she already knows how to heal, and she. She has her heals, and so she's pretty much maxed out on that. Everything else is just, you just look at her as like, what kind of utility do you want? And uh, the focal point of this class is the Dark Curse. So, uh, I'll do the, uh, the Dark version of her uh, Tier 3 class in another bit. So, uh, I'll see you again, and uh, take care.